what we're actually doing out here at Covenant House is we're bringing services to young people on the street that would normally not come into an agency like Covenant House. They do a lot of what we call couch surfing now. They move from friend to friend to relative to relative, from pillar to post, until they have no other revenue or avenue to get off the streets. I ran away from home when I was 15 years old. Everything starts off good, and then, you know, it kind of ripples, because me and my mom, we didn't actually have that mother-daughter relationship. It just went from bad to worse, from worse to tragic, and from tragic to, you know, catastrophe. It, you know, it's just a never-ending cycle. Mom, she's been a strong mom. She's been there for me, but, you know, I didn't have a, um, you know, a steady relationship with my father. He was sort of non-existent. So. I just wish I was there to at least share some pain, some laughter, something, because now I feel like I'm not a whole person without them. You know, I'm solo out here in this world. I really can't remember my childhood, especially anything that's really good. I didn't, I didn't get the, 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 the childhood that I rightly deserved. What we try to do is give them an avenue other than being on the streets, other than selling their bodies, other than selling drugs or pimping or prostituting, that, you know, that there's a way that they can get out of this environment if they want to. You don't have a, uh, a shelter to go to tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, I have some place to go. You have a place to go? Why are, you, why are you out here? She's looking for something out here tonight. I mean, with it being this cold and, uh, and the shelter's right across the street here, you know, she's probably looking for a fix. I started doing things I shouldn't have done. I started making poor choices because I felt like, you know, my family's not supporting me, so who is? You know, I did a lot of crazy things out there that kind of uh, shook me down a bit where I'm not as mentally stable as I was. <clears throat> It's, it's rough. Oh my God, doing this all by myself. I'm sorry. You know, 1,700 females every 24 hours becoming pregnant. 1,100 teenagers every 24 hours that are attempting suicide. And what's going on with that? I was in foster care four years, six months, 28 days, and three hours. Some people are here because, you know, they don't have nowhere else to go. I was always brought up to think, you know, you know, that dad was always going to be there for me and, you know, and pull me out of any situation. You know, you just have to be consistent and, and let them know that you care about them, regardless. You don't have to know them by name, but that you just care the people in their life when they were younger that they were supposed to you know care for them and love them oh, those are the people that have hurt them the most just because you're 18 does not necessarily mean that you're ready to take on the role of being quote an adult the way you kind of have to cut your your childhood kind of short you know I'm, I'm 19 but i'm still you know what i'm saying still young in uh, a normal society you would have some things in place that will kind of safeguard that and when you start looking at young people that are on the street and there is no safeguards, then it's a different ball game because now I'm not in a mode of anything other than survival. We've got to help them understand what they're feeling and what they're going through and help them visualize that it can change. Don't bring a child into the world if you can't take care of it. Don't ever do that. I think that's a slap in the mouth to God. Wasting that mind is wasting that whole entire person. You're basically throwing someone away. Because everybody needs somebody. And it doesn't matter. Some point of your life, everybody needs somebody, some kind of way. We can do a part by, you know, changing people's lives by doing one thing, and that's caring. Caring for each other. I try to save one child at a time because each one of their needs are going to be different. And so you have to look at their circumstances and begin to kind of pick apart what it is you can do. Can I as one person make a change? And if you believe that you can, 
then the change will happen. But if you don't believe in your heart that you can affect the change by being one person, then you've lost the battle all.